February 1st, the World Health Organization declared the Zika virus outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. The virus spread on a massive scale in Brazil and now to nearly 30 countries in South America and Central America. The WHO declaration will likely encourage new actions in funding for research and prevention. The Zika virus is a mosquito-borne virus related to dengue, yellow fever, and West Nile virus. It's not a newly discovered virus. Zika was discovered several decades ago and there have been occasional outbreaks in other parts of the world over the years. Until recently, the only proven way to contract the virus is through the bite of an infected mosquito. Approximately 80% of the infections do not result in any symptoms at all. Symptoms, if present, are usually mild and may include fever, rash, joint pain, and conjunctivitis. However, there are two linkages experts are most concerned with. Zika's potential impact on fetuses developing in the womb and the virus's connection to a paralyzing neurologic condition called Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS. Studies are now underway to investigate these associations and the role of other contributing factors. The CDC has issued travel notices for people traveling to distant countries where Zika virus transmission is ongoing. While there is currently no vaccine to prevent Zika virus infection, travelers should protect themselves by taking steps to prevent mosquito bites by staying indoors or wearing long sleeve shirts and long pants, and also use insect repellents. Pregnant women can use EPA registered insect repellents, although I would advise pregnant women to reconsider traveling to those countries for which the CDC has issued traveler warnings. As the Zika virus continues to spread and the weather continues to warm through the spring and summer months, we must anticipate more infections of Americans and possibly transmission in some parts of our country. The Zika virus should be taken seriously and we must be smart about our travels, but there is no reason to overreact, particularly in the United States where the outbreak is expected to be mild. I would advise anyone who is concerned about their symptoms, has visited an area where Zika virus is present, or has had sexual contact with a person who has returned from an area where Zika is present, to seek their health care provider.